Hello everyone. In this video, let's see how to make roster in Excel for multiple shift. This Excel template is free for you. And if you are interested, you can download from the link provided in the description below. To start with, we have the from date that is 3rd uh, April 2023. And to date is uh, I just added plus six since we are doing for weekly so that we get the end of the week date. So Monday to Sunday. And then I use a week number function to get the week number. Then in this table, we have the details like shift one, two, three, uh, shift capacity requirement. That is 103 number of working days in a week we need to uh, meet the shift one requirement. Likewise for shift two, it is 115 uh, working days. Shift three is 172. Shift capacity actual we have is 102, 120 for shift two and 178 for shift three. It means based on this input, we have this uh, data. And we can clearly see there is a deficit for shift one, minus one. It means like we need to have one more uh, uh, FT added to shift one any one day so that this deficit can be reduced. Likewise, shift two, we have excess of five and uh, shift three, we have excess of six. So for that case, what I do is I go to some shift two here and let me make the changes as shift one. You can notice here it's minus one. As soon as I make it as shift one, you can see there is a zero deficit. And let's uh, to for safer side, let's add a uh, two more uh, resources so that we in case of any unplanned leave this can be mitigated so let me make it as shift one and likewise from shift three let me make some changes here to shift one now you see uh, even shift one we have excess of two likewise shift two we have excess of three and for shift three we have excess of five now uh, this data is coming from the master file. We have the master file here, uh, employee details here. So what we have done is we just use the same data uh, from uh, she employee details and copy pasted here until supervisor. And then we have shifts. So for this, we have used this uh, drop downs where you can make the changes. For example, shift one is start from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. So I just make the changes as uh, shift two. You can see automatically the shift details are getting changed. So this the inputs is coming from uh, shift details sheet where you have the details here. Shift one, we start from six to 2 p.m. and then 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. shift two. And then shift three is uh, 10 p.m. to 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. And then we also have the details of week off. Week off will be written as W. Planned leave PL, unplanned leave UL, and shift one, two, three will be written as shift ST one, two, three, respectively. Then coming back to the monthly roster. So here we have the date. Uh, actually, the date again, we uh, given the link the, to the start date. So you just, uh, I just press is equal to and just take here and press center. You have the start date. And then we added one plus one for each day so that we get uh, seven days and then we just use the text function to know which day of the week is that and then we update the tracker here uh, or the plan here so that all this information will be captured here for this i just use the count if to get the data let me remove this and apply you for apply for you again so is equal to count if then my range will be this entire table. Let me select this and then I press F4. And then my uh, criteria will be SHST1 close bracket press enter. Now let me extend this formula. So here I need to make it a shift 2. And then sorry here I need to make it a shift 3. Yeah, so now you can see we have everywhere it is green. It means like uh, we have planned effectively so that uh, the requirement shift capacity requirement are actually the actual more than the shift requirement. Thank you.